Rich Side Canine, Rich Side Canine Rant. Topic of tonight rant, pet quality Malinois, do they exist? Can you safely adopt a Malinois to bring into your house and not have a Maligator or a crocodile come home to live with you? So, in short, spoiler alert, the answer is yes, okay? There are a ton of Malinois and Dutch Shepherds, German Shepherds, you name it, that are sitting in kennels today, rescues, kennels, and pounds, and they don't get adopted merely because people believe in a stereotype, guys. They're judging all books by its cover, just like Pitbull, right? There are Malinois that, like this dog here, that are not protective, not aggressive, um, not highly driven, and will make a phenomenal house pet for a lot of different people, guys. This little girl right here being one of them, right? So if you wanted a protection dog, a sport dog, fly ball, odor, tracking, she's not the one. If you wanted a phenomenal house pet, super, super intelligent, super smart, loves to please, loves to go on walks with you, will sit with you all day, give you comfort, be an amazing, amazing support dog. Okay, now that's something. She's so sweet. But they do exist. So when you see a Malinois for adoption, first and foremost, you're not adopting a police dog like a lot of people assume. They, they adopt a Malinois and think right off the bat, like, oh, I got a Malinois, man. This, is, this dog is badass. It's a Malinois. And the reality is if that was the case, it wouldn't be up for adoption. But when you adopt a dog, guys, give it a chance, man. For a lot of people, they overlook Malinois and Dutchies that are in rescues simply because of the stereotypes the dogs bring. It's not the case all the time. There are absolutely, by definition, duds in every litter, guys. Anybody that tells you every puppy they've ever bred, every dog they've ever produced has been a world champion dog, <laughs> right, um, promise you that ain't the case, right? Most litters produce, I'd say, 25% dogs that are pet qualities, if not more than that. Um, to get on the police patrol level quality, probably 5 to 10%, right? Sport, 20 to 30%. The rest, below that. So... Keep that in mind, guys. Give them a chance. When you go out to these rescues, to these pounds, look at this sweet little mama. She's so affectionate. This is complete opposite of Malinois I have in the basement. Complete opposite. Just me sitting on the ground like this may produce a problem, right? Just me being below the dog could produce an issue with some of them. Not with sweet little girl, though. All she wants to do is give affection. Motion papa. Um, give the dogs a chance. A lot of Malinois, a lot of Dutchies, it could make you phenomenal house pets. Phenomenal. If you just gave them a chance. Not saying they don't come without their own little issues, but not all of them are killers. Not all of them are maniacs. Not all of them will tear your house apart or get up on top of your refrigerator or bite you a million times. Truly, you have some phenomenal house pets out there. So do not judge a book by its cover, guys. Pick up the book, open it, see what's inside of it. And when it comes to Malinois, Dutch Shepherds, and the list goes on, right? Pit Bulls, German Shepherds, Rottweilers. Just because it's a certain breed doesn't mean it's a working dog. Just means it comes from a working lineage at some point. Doesn't mean it's a protection dog. Just means that at some point maybe it had protection dog in its lineage. Doesn't mean it's a police dog. You're not adopting the elite best of the best. Now, you may be adopting a, a behavioral problem. I'm not saying that's not the case. You may be adopting a mountain that will bite the shit out of you and tear apart your house. Um, seek out professional training. But you may very well have an opportunity to adopt a super sweet dog like this that requires almost no training, to be honest with you and simply wants to make you happy. So check them out, look at the rescues. And, and a lot of the reasons guys, just that this is the facts that dogs like this make it into rescues, uh, pounds, etc., is because they aren't quality dogs as far as workability, right? So a lot of guys in sport get a hold of these dogs, they get the puppy from a well-known person and the puppy's a dud, and they dump the dog and get a new one. And that's just the truth. So. Um, but a lot of these dogs, for a lot of young families, they would make awesome dogs. Give them a chance. Check them out. You know we're a Malinois company, but, uh, you know, Dutch dog company. So we call it Malinois and Dutchies with a little sauce. <laughs> well, worry about that. But go out to your rescues. Give, give them an opportunity, guys. Mallies, Dutchies, Pit Bulls, German Shepherds, Rotties, all the working breeds that wind up in shelters. Just because they're a working breed doesn't mean they're a working dog. Just because they come from protection lines doesn't mean they're a protection dog. And if you're looking for a low drive to medium drive house pet, just for the simple joy of owning a dog, a lot of these working breeds that are sitting in rescues could be the one for you. Rich Side Canine Rant on do pet quality Malinois exist? And the answer is yes.